Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Mezco Black Panther figure. It's the 112, uh, 112 collectible line. And then the back of the sleeve, uh, you see the figure, the accessories, and a couple of pictures on the bottom. So let's get into it. So here we have Black Panther outside the packaging. So let's go over some of the accessories. It comes with the Black Panther base with a translucent rod, then a, a staff, and then a spear. And a couple of hands. We have a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of fists. Let's see if it's focused. I'm not even sure. Okay, right there. And then a pair of gripping hands. And then he also have a pair of uh, uh, claw hands, I guess. Uh, I don't know what those uh, gesture hands, I guess. Then uh, here's the head, the helmet. And then there's the human head that this figure comes with. So let's get a closer look at some of the. Uh, uh, let's get a closer look at the figure itself. All right. So let's examine the human head sculpt here. Um, I believe the actor is uh, Chad Boswick or something like that. Um, here's the head sculpt. Does it look like him? Uh, a little bit. I think uh, it's okay. But I believe the Legends uh, did a better job with it. Uh, so here I have the Legend right next to it. Uh, but uh, seeing it next to each other, uh, I'm not quite sure which one's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, you be the judge as to which is better. Uh, I think the Legend is a little bit closer. And uh, I believe the skin tone, uh, the Legend has a well, too light, I believe. Yeah. And uh, the Mesco did it right with the skin tone, but I think the likeness is a little bit off for some reason. And then let's uh, take a look at the rest of him. It's a bodysuit with a uh, rubber uh, kind of imprinted on it. It's kind of nice. I like it. And then there's the helmet. And uh, the rest of the suit. I really like these, uh, this pair of claws right here. It's really nice. And uh, yeah. So let's take a look. Well, let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the full figure. And then uh, let's turn it around so you guys can see the back. Of it and uh, I really like the stitching they did with this uh, suit uh, is uh, for such a small figure I think they did a really good job with the stitching up uh, the seams and stuff look at uh, I most likely the figure is uh, put in uh, through the back here and uh, when they're stitching this back up looks like uh, they did a really good job with it I believe most likely it's around here. Here is where they have to stitch. Uh, once the figure is inside, I think they have to stitch this back up from the outside. So that's really hard to do because uh, if you're stitching it from the uh, inside out, uh, you 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 have a nicer seam. But here you can see this, this the seam is a little off here and there. But uh, I think they did a really good job with it. And yep, and there's the bad side. Alright, so I put the helmet back on him, so let's go for articulation. And move this up a little bit. So it's easier to see when I'm moving him around. Uh, let me zoom, let me focus. Okay, so um, head is on a ball joint. So here, uh, as far as how far he can look up, he can look up about that much. That's about it. And then down and side to side a little bit. Yeah, so good range. And then uh, as for the arms, uh, ball hinge joint. So you could go over here like that. And uh, about that and that. I wouldn't stretch this too much because uh, it is a suit. And uh, it does have rubber uh, printed on it, so you don't want to tear those things up. 
that much. So uh, as for the elbows, you could bend a little bit over 90 degrees. That's about it. And then uh, the wrists are on a ball hinge joint. So yeah, good range. As for the chest, not so much. I mean, that's just how far forward you can see the chest could bend. Uh, backwards, uh, same thing, not so much. And uh, the the waist, the waist, uh, no, still not a whole lot. With the with the chest chest and abdominal section he could only do a crunch about that much which is uh, quite bad and then the arch back about that much and as for the legs 90 then over 90 and then the ankles are really good I guess uh, on a ball joint so decent amount of uh, range of motion but it is by no mean uh, as good as uh, Marvel Legends, because the Legends could give you crazy amount of articulation range. Um, with this one, he looks great doing simple poses, but nothing dynamic, because uh, you won't be able to get him to do dynamic poses. But he does look really, really nice because the suit does cover all the joints, so he looks much, much nicer, more of a museum type piece when he's standing but not so much uh, as far as uh, playability and here I am next to the Marvel Legends uh, Black Panther as you can see this is a pose this is an awesome looking pose which this one cannot do I'm not even going to try to attempt it because uh, there's no way he could he could pull off that this pose at all and um, yeah as far as uh, posability Marvel Legends definitely is number one uh, in my opinion yeah, even better than uh, um, SHF just because of this abdominal uh, abdominal joint right here yeah it's far superior than everything else and then uh, this figure does have a butterfly joint uh, with the Marvel Legends right there so uh, you could pull his arm way back which this one cannot um, yeah but standing together next to each other you can see how good uh, one is compared to the other alright so here I have three Black Panthers um, the one on the left is from SH Figure Arts the one in the middle is from Mesco and then on the right is the Marvel Legends and uh, you can see the Marvel Legend one is actually taller than all three uh, taller than the other two and um, 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 uh, yeah detail wise let's take a look at the SHF well this one is from uh, first movie uh, wait actually from Winter Soldier so yeah you can see the detailing on this one it's got a lot of details And uh, as for the Mesco, you can see fabric, so the detailing is not as noticeable, but they are there. The Legends has the least amount of detailing. You see that um, that suit pattern is not really there. You can see the lines, but here with the uh, SHF, you can see the patterns on, 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 the, on the body itself. Did a really good job with it, but uh, with the legends, it's definitely not there. But as far as articulation, again, legends is definitely the winner. And then next would be SHF, and then lastly would be Mesco. But standing around, just looking cool, I think the uh, Mesco is really good because again, see uh, the joints are all covered up, and then the SHF proportion wise is really good and then lastly the legends because um, that the as uh, the the worst looking as far as body proportion I think it's very very skinny and if you're looking for value I think the legends is definitely the one to pick and then uh, next I would probably pick Mesco over um, SHF because SHF uh, is kind of expensive uh, it doesn't give you a lot of accessories 
while the Mesco one gives you a, lot, a pretty good amount of accessories and uh, it looks great too so yeah oh um the Mesco one costs eighty dollars and uh, the Legends is about twenty and then the SHF about sixty to eighty depending on where you pick it up so there you go there's the Black Panther from Mesco thanks for watching